strange developments in the trial of a former Georgia Tech star and his wife. Ricardo and Therian Wimbush are defending themselves against child abuse charges. Now, as you're about to see, their do-it-yourself defense has caused some friction in the courtroom. Natalie Pozo joins us now with those details. Yeah, Natalie, some really tense moments inside today's hearing. Thompson, a some very tense moments at today's hearing as Therry and Wimbush fought motions in their case, including one of them wanting the Gwinnett County DA's office to recuse themselves from the case where authorities say they locked their 13-year-old in the basement for nearly two years. At one point today, Therian even attempted to swear in the judge. You sound so argumentative. No, ma'am, I'm just letting you know that I have read your motion. A friction inside this Gwinnett County courtroom. That's Wimbush. This is a court of law. No, no, I am speaking now. This is a court of law, so if you cannot conduct yourself appropriately, you will abandon your motion. As defendants Ricardo Wimbush and Therian Wimbush represent themselves. Is there a problem with me and Mr. Wimbush communicating over here? Police say the two parents locked their then 13 year old son inside the basement of this Buford home for nearly two years. The arrest warrant says the teen was let out of the room two to three times a day to eat, use the restroom, and occasionally brush his teeth, but never went upstairs or saw his siblings. And cruel and excessive physical pain. During the hearing Wednesday, the judge having to guide Therian at times as she fought motions in her child cruelty case, including wanting the Gwinnett County District Attorney's Office to recuse themselves from the case. And then we went to the basement of the residence. The state calling witnesses. He indicated to me that he was confined to a small room in the basement. His mother visited him a couple times a day to take him to the restroom. Otherwise, he had a plastic jar in his room should he need to relieve himself. Including a defects case manager who visited the home and met with the teen. He appeared unkempt. He seemed frail, um, <coughs> sort of pale. His hair was way up here. And the parents face a long list of charges, including child cruelty and false imprisonment. Tom? Wow. All right, Natalie, thanks.